Hello everyone, if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I've got a whole bunch of new Kmart makeup to test out. Now I have been doing these videos for a while so I'll list a few of them down below in the description box. But recently when I went browsing, they had some really good stuff so let's get into it. So first up we have the Blurring Primer. Now this is giving me Elf Putty Primer vibes. And I am all here for this packaging. It is very sleek. Let's give it a feel. Okay, a little bit thicker than the Elf Putty Primer, but very velvety. Okay, already I can see how blurring that is. Ooh, okay. Let's get real close and personal. So I've got quite large pores around this area. This side I've put the primer on. Let me show you what it looks like when I apply on this side. It kind of just like puts a thin layer on top and smooths it all out. Oh my God, that feels so nice. I hope you can kind of see how that worked there because that is beautiful. I'm going to go in with one of my regular foundations, the Revlon Color Stay in the shade Buff, but I did pick up some sponges to test out. I haven't tried the Kmart sponges in quite a while, and when I first did, they were like hard as a rock, and I just cannot stand that. So I hope that they have um, made these a bit better over the years. Okay, already they feel quite soft, and I'm liking the shape. So this one has a flat edge on one side, and then this one's like been chopped off, <laughs> but you've still got a pointy end. I think I'm going to go in with this shape here. Let me just go wet it. While I'm here, I'll give you a quick bump update. I am 20 weeks. How cute are my shorts too? They're also from Kmart. Okay, so the sponge still feels quite soft, but it's definitely a bit dense in the center. All right, it doesn't seem to be soaking up too much product. Okay, so it's blended the foundation out nicely. Where I've put the primer, my foundation looks so smooth, very beautiful, but it did get a little bit funny where like the primer stopped and then my normal skin was so I kind of had to blend that a little bit harder or maybe next time with the primer I just really need to make sure I get a nice even finish and like blend into the skin a little bit better. The sponge did a good job but it's still not my favorite because it is a little bit dense. Next I've got a concealer and this is in the shade Ivory so it's just got a thin doe foot applicator on it. I have a feeling the shade might be a bit fair that's it there. Oh yeah, that's fair. I've been going for more of a concealer that matches my skin tone lately. Okay, that's actually blending out beautifully. It's giving me more coverage than what I was expecting. And it looks very smooth and seamless. The point on this sponge is really nice too for getting right up under the eye. Okay, that actually looks beautiful. Oh. Okay, despite that being a little bit of a thinner texture and quite a fair shade, I'm really happy with the coverage that it's given. It looks super smooth under the eyes and blended really nicely. I am just going to let it sit while I do my brows. I'm not going to powder just yet and we'll see how much it creases into my fine lines. For brows, I've got the Fluff and Shape Pencil in the shade Light. Now the applicator is kind of like that diamond shape and the other end, instead of a spoolie, it's got one of those little funky brushes. Let's give the brows a brush. I don't know if I've ever used a brow pencil with one of these before. Surely I have. That's brushing my brows way better than I thought it would. Okay, that brush also blends the product really nicely as well. Okay, so the color's probably a little bit warmer than what I prefer when it comes to my brow shade, but the pencil performed really nicely. It's creamy, you don't have to press super hard, it blends really easily with that little brush. So good so far. That's not right. So far, so good. Oh my god, I seriously thought Baby Brain was like 
a made up thing, but I just, <laughs> I'm stupid lately. All right, let's check back in with the concealer. It, it looks great and has barely settled into fine lines. Let's do another little zoom in here. Look how flawless the under eyes are looking. What? What? Okay, I need to add some color to my skin ASAP because I am looking freaky. So the next product I have are these bronzer drops. Now they did only come in at the one shade, so I'm a little bit nervous about how that's gonna go on my fair skin. They also released the highlighter drops. Again, only one shade and this is the shade gold. Okay, so with the bronzer, I am just going to apply it to the back of my hand and I think I'll go in with a brush. Okay, first of all, I love the packaging. The dropper is a lot nicer than I expected. It's similar to the Flower Beauty blush bombs. The shades on the other hand, <laughs> this is the bronzer, pretty warm for me. And the highlighter, it looks like it could work but it's very shimmery, like super metallic. The shade is scaring me a bit. <laughs> okay, it blended out really easily, but the shade is just, it looks really red, it's very warm. <laughs> oh God. All right, I guess I'll put some on the other side. <laughs> okay, I need my sponge to come in and save the day because that was just looking nasty. For the highlighter, I'm going to take the bum of my sponge, just dip in a really tiny bit. Oh my God, it's so gold. It looks like it's just leaving like glitter, gold glitter on my face. There's not really that much of a sheen, is there? Okay, so I think we can officially say no to those two products. <laughs> Oh my God, I just don't know. I think I need to go in and just apply some blush and fix up this situation. I'm going to use the new Australis Dewy and Daring Blush in Side Chick. In other news, my under eyes are still looking pretty good. The concealer has settled like a smidge, but it looks really, really good. I'm going to use the sponge and just a little bit of my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. And I'll set under the eyes now. Okay, oh my gosh, let's move on. I have this 20 shade eyeshadow palette in Mocha. And then I was really excited about these. They are the Quartz Liquid Eyeshadow Trio. Okay, so here are the three shades. They have a metallic finish. This lighter shade was applying a little bit more patchy, but look how beautiful these two look. Very thin, silky, smooth textures. So we'll see how it applies on the lid. Now for the eyeshadow palette, I think I just might go in with something pretty neutral, maybe bronze and then use the bronze liquid eyeshadow. So I'm thinking like these tones here, Maybe some of these shimmers, we'll see how they go. I'm just going to prime my eyelid with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I want to use a concealer that I know works well under eyeshadows to give them a good fair chance. Okay, these shadows have some pigment. We're already blending a little bit patchy though. Let's just be super gentle. I've tried a few of the Kmart shadows in the past and I've never really had that good luck with them. Like the shadow turns out okay, but not good enough that I'd happily dip into it again. Okay, with a bit of tender love and blending, that has actually turned out quite nice. I like that shade too. So I've just gone in with a bit of a deeper brown and I'm lightly blending that through the crease. It's blending nicely with the first shade, not looking patchy at all. All right, now in with a shimmer. It's not super metallic, but I'm getting a nice, nice sheen from it. All right, I'm going in with the bronze shade of the liquid shadow, and I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and then go in with a brush. I don't like applying it directly to my lid in case there's like too much and I can't blend it out. Okay, that is definitely adding more of a metallic glow. Quite a similar shade to the one I picked from the shadow pan. It's, see what? 
It's a similar shade. <laughs> oh, okay, I changed brushes to a flat brush. And look at that. Beautiful. It's looking a little bit chunky just here. Hmm, okay, I'm not sure. The color's very pretty, but it just looks chunky. I even tried to go in with lighter layers on this side. And see how it still just looks a bit chunky? Overall though, I am pretty happy with how those shadows performed. I like that this palette isn't extremely warm toned either because I'm really just not into those bold oranges and like really warm browns. So I'm really liking these cooler browns and the shades look quite nice on my skin tone. For mascara, I'll be using my Rimmel Thrill Seeker. I have tried a few Kmart mascaras in the past, but they all have a super strong scent and there's something about it that just doesn't quite feel right about that around the eye area. I don't know. Oh, and also they wore nicely for a little bit, but then they like made my eyes like, oh, not sting, but like water. I don't know, I didn't like them. For lips, I picked up one of the matte lip kit nudes and I got the pink shade. There's also like a rose and something else. And then I also grabbed the Gloss Edit Nudes Lip Gloss Trio in pink. So this is the packaging of the Lip Gloss Trio. Kind of looks pretty cheap. <laughs> it is. Okay, well they're kind of pointless swatches because they all look clear. Even like this darker brown is here. This mid-tone in the middle and this pink on the end here. And then this is the lip kit. We've got the liner, lipstick, and gloss. So this gloss is very pigmented. Okay, so far the liner is applying really nicely. It's quite creamy. Okay, my lips are a bit crusty at the moment. <laughs> the gloss has a nice texture. It's quite rich and it smells like vanilla. Okay, I actually really liked how those shades turned out. The gloss really just did it for me. Let's see if the other glosses add a bit more sheen. Yeah, I can definitely see that the center is more glossy. I'll have to try these ones out on their own though and see how they go, how long they last, all that stuff. All right, well that is all of the OXX makeup that I am testing out. Let me just do a quick overview. The Blurring Primer, loved the texture, loved how it smoothed out my pores. Can't wait to dip into that one again. The concealer, this one really blew me away. So surprised and I cannot wait to try it out. If I continue to love it, I'll definitely pick it up in a shade that's a little bit deeper. The brow product, nice and creamy, blended easily. If you can find a shade that you like, I would definitely recommend. The bronzer drops. Not for me. If you are deeper than me, maybe give them a go, but I felt like they were quite red. And even though it was a lightweight formula, it blended pretty easily. It did dry down quickly. I even noticed on the back of my hand, which is why I think it looked a little bit muddy on my face. The highlighter drops. The shade, too gold for me, but if we're talking about the formula, it's super metallic. But then once I applied it to my face, you couldn't really see anything anyway. So like, what's the point? The eyeshadow palette actually impressed me this time. So I'm looking forward to dipping back into it. Let me know if you want to see any more looks using this. The liquid eyeshadows, although I love the shades, I just don't know about the formula. It does still look a bit patchy. So I'll definitely give them another go and just see what the deal is. Absolutely loved the lip clip. Oh. <laughs> Did I just say lip clip? Wow. <laughs> That's a good one. As I was saying, I absolutely loved the lip kit. The lip liner was soft and creamy. The lipstick was very pigmented and applied super creamy as well. And same with the lip gloss. I love the amount of pigment. It's still nice and glossy and again just smooth and creamy. These lip glosses I'll definitely give another go but it's a little bit deceiving how they're all colored but then they all swatch clear. Oh, and then the sponge. I liked it, a little bit dense, but it did do the job. If you want something affordable, like I don't totally hate it. So I would like kind of recommend getting it. <laughs> 
All right, well, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. As I mentioned in the beginning, if you want to watch any of my other testing Kmart makeup videos, I will link them all down in the description box. If you've tried any of this makeup or if there are any OXX products that you love, please leave me a comment because I would love to have a little chat about it. You can come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I'll have that link down in the description box. Otherwise, that is all from me. I can't believe I said lip clip. <laughs> I hope you have a good day. Bye.